Hello, everybody. Welcome to this exciting episode of Bob the Sign Man. Today, we're going to continue on the Omega 5 software. Uh, today, uh, I've been, I think it's going to be episode 7, I believe. Um, I've had a series of episodes that shows you how to lay out, uh, you know, your borders, your um, verbiage, your text. So today, we're going to deal with symbols. Um, suppose you had to make the uh, slippery and wet sign. That's the guy that like skidding out of control and you have to make that. Well, those are tough. Or there's the um, slide ahead. It doesn't say slide ahead anymore. It's got the rocks falling on the uh, car. So you have to make those. Those are going to be tough to make. Those are going to be really hard to lay out and to um, design. And I've got a couple programs and a website that is just fantastic. Um, the website I'll show you when I get onto the computer and show you. It's um, a guy that I've uh, seen on Facebook a few times and um, I follow his one site. It's a phenomenal site. I can't say more about it. Check the um, links below and you'll see um, uh, any any links to his site. He does uh, ask that we do post some links to his site and give him some credit for credit is due. The guy's worked really hard to, to bring this uh, into focus for us and uh, it, it's a vital tool for some of us uh, counties and agencies uh, that need to make signs and make sure we get them right on the specs and anything so I want to give a huge shout out to him and I'll introduce you to his uh, site in a little bit anyways I'm going to get going and uh, what we're going to be using is we're going to be using a, a um, program that's called Primo PDF and it's completely a free program there's no uh, anything else to buy so without further ado, we are going to get right into Series 7, Omega 5, using PDF. Don't miss this episode. It's going to be exciting. Guaranteed. Hey Welcome to this exciting episode. Uh, I'm going to try something a little different today and get a little technical. If you notice down in the corner, you see moi. So I'm going to have to remember that I'm down in the corner. So if I'm doing anything, I'll have to remember to uh, leave that corner open. Um, what I'd like to do is... Um, continue on with my um, Omega 7 or Omega 5 series uh, video number 7 so we're going to jump right into this what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my um, Gerber Omega 5 software I'm, I'm recording this at home this is a little bit different than I have at work uh, buttons are a little different so I might fumble around for a little bit so uh, I've been assigned a task maybe to make a slippery road sign and I'll show you what it looks like uh, first of all, I, I was going to tell you about this. Um, I, I told you a little bit on the introduction about this website that this individual makes. His name is Richard. Excuse me if I butcher his name, but I usually do butcher people's names. It's His name is Richard Mower. Um, and it's called the Manual of Traffic Signs. You can find it right here, trafficsign.us. Great site. Um, he does have a certain disclaimers on here, and I am going to put some credit down for him down in the comment section down below. Um, he's just done such a great job on this website. I can't imagine the hours that he's put in on this. He's got signs. You, I'll take you on a little tour. Regulatory signs, warning sign, route markers, uh, just all kinds of stuff. Um, check out his site, and it, it's, it's just great. Um, here's a little copyright um, disclaimer here and it's uh, you know you can't use it for any commercial use but he does allow you to do it for non-commercial use entities like us and he just asks that we give him a little credit where credit's due and you can check out his his uh, home page his name is Richard C. Mowers Mowers I guess Mowers um, excuse me if I butcher up your name Richard but uh, I butcher mine up too so there we go anyways um, great site so um I suppose i have to make this site and he's got these things laid out like you wouldn't believe like we go to the warning signs and this is the one payment conditions what we're going to do and when you click on the, you can click on any of the links here it, like the mutcd he has a um, link to a page this goes to the federal website which will take you there um He's got the images, what they look like. Um, they're, they're his copyrighted images. I can imagine the work he put in on these. Um, and then these images, I believe, come from um, different sources. Anyways, all the dimensions are in here and everything. So if I had to lay out this sign, I wouldn't know where to start. I mean, um, yeah, you got the little dimension here. And then I guess you could painstakingly try to uh, trace it with your um, software or something but I, I just wouldn't imagine how I would start to do something like this so I'm going to show you this little thing that I use it's called 
I have it on my computer. It's called Primo PDF. You can find that at www.primopdf.com. Absolutely free program. All you do is you click the download, you go through some little motions and install it on your de uh, desktop. And it, you're going to use it like a printer. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what we'll do. Oh, there we go. That's real good English. Anyways, so I want to make this sign. I have no idea how I'm going to lay it out. Now, if you see in here, it gives you all the dimensions, the specs and everything. We're going to, let's just do this as a 36 inch sign. That's what I'm, I usually use a lot of 36 inch sign. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click the image and I'm going to click print. Okay. And then up here, it's going to, um, you know, show my little print log. Well, I'm going to change my um, printer and I'm going to go to Primo PDF. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to print it. Okay, in a few seconds, it's going to open up um, a page. Here we go, Primo PDF. It'll pop back up. Now I want to create, see this little button here? All I do is hit Create PDF. And where do I want to store it? What do I want to call it? We're just going to call this the Slippery Guy Who Can't Drive. You can call it whatever you want on your desktop. And then I'm just going to click. I want to make sure that I'm going to save it. Find a place where you can save all these. Um, I'm going to save it on my desktop. And I'm going to call it the slippery guy who can't drive. And I just click save. It saves it on my desktop. And then what it does, is it always brings up this little page here. So just go ahead and click that off. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, look on my, here it is right here. The slippery guy who can't drive, right? Okay, it's right on my desktop. So now we'll go back. And I'm going to open up my Omega 5 program. Here it is right here. And it's kind of the same one that I have at work, except, this, I'm, like I said, I'm doing this at home. So just uh, you, there's several ways you can import this. You can go up here and do all this. I just choose to click, uh, right click it, click import. And I want to make sure for type of files. I want to look for all the files, not just certain ones. And file name, it come up here, slipper guy who can't drive. So I'm going to import it. Or you can just um, select it on your thing. It just happened to show up there as the last one I used. So we're going to just, you know, click your button. It gives, a, gives you a little beep. Then this dialog box is going to pop up. And you just click OK. So there's your image. We're going to make that image a little bit bigger. Okay. And I'm going to unselect everything. And then I'm going to hold down on my shift key. And then I want to select everything that I want to take out of there. The image. I don't need all these little lettering and stuff. So I've got my borders in the image. And I'm simply going to copy that. And then I'm going to exit out of this um, page. I don't need that page. Um, let's just cancel that. Sometimes I you mess things up. I wouldn't advise getting rid of that right away till start a new page and just you know do your right click, paste, and there's your image. Okay? There, look at that perfect you think right well you know obviously you can't print it out like that or um, do anything with it so we're going to select all control all okay we got everything selected want to arrange i think shape we're going to direct roll that we're going to set that at a 45 degree angle okay we're going to turn it 45 so it stands on its side okay you think well ready to go except look at this the whole image is only three inches by three inches, so we have to resize that whole thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out some of these um, border things. I want to get this right on the money where it's supposed to be, because even though the size is off, it's still this image is going to remain right here in this position where these outside of the sign blank is. OK, so now I'm going to get rid of what I want to do now before I do all that. I want to turn this into a 36 by 36 inch sign. So I'm going to go up to my shape and I'm going to go to my size. I want uniform. I want all sides the same. So I'm going to hit 36. Click OK. So you can see down at the bottom now right here, it turned it all 36 by 36. Tap my space bar. OK. Bring this down a little bit. And you see how I'm going to touch that line down there so it's red there, red there. Okay, now we have a 36 by 36 blank, but I'm not sure what those radiuses are right there. So I'm going to get rid of this radius, delete that, delete that, and I'm going to delete that. I'm going to bring my own in now. I'm going to make my own 36 inch blank, okay? 
just bring them up here and I'm going to go 36 hit our tab button 36 I'm going to go 0 0 and then that um, the type of border we want we want the round curvature and we want a 2.25 okay and then you can hit OK or enter on your keyboard it doesn't matter what you want to do is we want to place this back down on our reference line see how it's all backwards supposed to be so now we know that this sign this symbol is placed exactly where it should be now what I'm going to do is I want to add my inset and um, what's happened here is all your stuff is in here now where you need it that's why you want to keep this page open so the inset is B which is 6.25 and the thickness of the border is um, 0.875 okay so I want to um, use my toolbar I'm going to go to outline and remember in past videos you want to go minus point and our inset is 625 and then just click OK and there we go there's our inset and now tools we want to outline we want to make the thickness of the border which is going to be minus 0.875 okay just click OK now we got our two borders set up now look what happens when you press the F8 okay let's change this to yellow since we brought in a new blank we got rid of the other color see we got yellow now if you hit the shift in your shift and you come up to a range and you group them together and we're going to call those black and we're going to bring them to the front a range to the front now look what happens turns it all black why it's done that is because we've called th we've grouped them together which means they're just grouped they're not individuals yet so you have the outside one and this one are just really two two blanks so they're actually set on top of each other so what we want to do click those again and then we want to go into arrange and we want to combine those combining them as in to make them one so now it's all one and here's what happens black border around it okay now we're going to click on our image you might have to click several parts of the image to get them all in there see how they're all highlighted blue now and now we're going to hit our F6 key, which is going to group them together, okay? And then when you hit your F8, there's still that image isn't showing up yet. So what you want to do, highlight it, come up to a range, you want to bring it to the front. And you want to make sure you come down and you click it. We're going to turn it black. Okay, so now there's our image. It's all up front. So what we want to do now is let's go ahead and ungroup those for a second and then what, what happened here see this little window here we're just gonna click that little window and we're gonna make that yellow and then see what happens there it is because this little piece here we want it to show through you could cut your image like this on the on the uh, machine and it's not gonna it's not gonna affect anything like that but I just for all intents and purposes of this video I'd like to show the whole image so what, what you do want to do now is go back hold down your shift 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 and then you want to get your outside borders and you want to group all that together it's important to have that group together now when you go to cut out your image you just go there we go um, it goes off to your cutter now I can't show you how I send this to the cutter because I'm at my home right now and I obviously I don't have a cutter here but all you would do in my other episodes I show you how to send it off to the thing so so here's our sign right now all ready to go and that took hardly anything at all to make thanks to Richard Moore's help and the help of PDF um, can't thank him enough like I said check out his link below I'll put it down below um, another thing you might want to do then is when you do this like I said go ahead and save it and I just want to show you something real quick here what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take the shape and we're gonna direct roll we're gonna hit that minus 45 which minus will, will turn it to the right we're gonna stand it back up where it should be click that there we go now let's look back and see what happened here okay we have E the top of the car to the bottom of the skid marks we have E and F E and F which are down here um, E and F 13 and then we have um, so let me add the 13 and 14.813 together 318 Seven. So you have 27.813 from the bottom of this um, skid mark to the top of his car should be 27.813 inches. So let's just check that out real quick. So we're going to make this little tool here. Um, the height, I want 
7.813. Uh, the length, let's just go an inch. All those are going to be zero. We'll square this out. So now we've got this little bar that if we tap it, see it's 24.813. Ah, I didn't mess that up a little bit. It should be 27. So let's change that four backspace to a seven. Now it's 27.813. Take this, remember the top of the car to the bottom of the skid mark, and we'll get a little extra line in there, and we'll turn this one up a little bit. See how it's even there? Look how that comes to the bottom. So that's pretty much telling me that that sign is laid out perfect in that Primo PDF, and and the layout for that just it it, it works out great. It helps out a lot. Um, that'll get you by. Um, a, lot, a lot of times, you know, uh, you buy those books that have all the layouts in it, and there's hundreds of them. Yeah, there's hundreds of them, but there's also hundreds you're never going to use. And a lot of agencies, you know, you're pretty scarce on uh, resources and stuff. But this is a, another great resource um, to use this Primo PDF. And any, any other website will work, too. Not so much um, the manual of traffic signs. But I also I also deal in California, and so as I was saying, um, you have the different resources to find um, various stuff. You have the uh, uh, traffic manual traffic signs. I use the, the feds. Um, are pretty tough to use sometimes. They have this uh, deal like here's the feds. I just uh, typed in I think under my Google search you can type in like federal highway sign specs. Let's open one up here. Uh, lights on when flashing you open it up and it gives you the uh, you want to make sure you get the little PDF in there so we'll open up one of theirs sometimes you have to bring it down and so this would work too you could you could do this when uh, lights on when raining but this is all text so it's something you could lay out because one thing with the Primo PDF when you use it it doesn't convert it into text it just like outlines the image so you won't be able to use it as a text so there's there's the feds. They're kind of a pain. I don't like to use them. They're <laughs> the feds. Anyways, and then we have the California website, which um, in its own right, California does a lot of weird stuff. Um, we always have to have something different. We have to have a California M right here, California MUTCD. We always have to be different. And I believe... California is always one of those states that's always the first to do something crazy and stupid and the whole country laughs at us. And I honestly, truly believe that's why aliens refuse to visit our planet is because of California. So wow, thank you, California, for that. Um, anyways, so like with California, you can do, they have theirs grouped up. Here's a, um, oh, here's a street name signs, for example. Um, see how they have theirs drawn up and it's not a clean PDF. That one would be kind of hard to use. Some of them are nice clean PDFs. Some of them are just um, got awful horrible. Like see this is kind of like a, a, a drawing here. So you'd never be able to capture the PDF with that. So you'd never be able to use a PDF. With All that right. One. Like I said, me, me, me all back at the ranch. Uh, like I said, um, California, we, we do some crazy stuff. So anyway, there's a um, some some really good resources. Um, I'll show you a couple other really good resources if you haven't already. Check out Bob the Sign Man on Facebook. You can find me at Bob the Sign Man. Just do a little Google search and look for Homer Simpson. Uh, you can find me on Pinterest. And obviously you can find me, if you're watching this, obviously you're going to find me on uh, YouTube. I started off with just making a couple little videos on my phone. And then I couldn't figure out a way. They were too large descent of it. This fellow I met up in Canada, his name's Mike Hay. Big shout out to one of my fans there, Mike Hay. Uh, we c constantly communicate with each other. It's kind of fun. He lives in Canada. I think in New Brunswick was like on the east coast of the North American continent, I guess you could say. And I'm on the west coast here. So um, he started asking me a few questions. I, I think he, I don't know how we kind of ended up I don't know if it was Facebook or I think he saw a video or something. I can't remember. Uh, anyways, um, so I started making these little videos, these little short videos on how to how to do stuff for him. I started putting them on Facebook, and then before you know it, I got a lot of views, and I'm already up to like over 300 subscribers, which is kind of cool, I think, for just a little, you know, kind of quirky little videos I make. But actually, then all of a sudden, these people from different agencies started contacting me. 
Um, I've met a few few people from, um, gosh, all over the place. I, one guy that comes into, um, I can't remember his name, but I remember his daughter's name. Um, I think he's from Deerfield, Illinois, and he's got this, um, his daughter that watches my show. Her name's Courtney. Hi, Courtney. How you doing? Still haven't forgot you. Um, and it's pretty cool because uh, he contacted me and then other agencies. I, I, I think a guy from... Uh, uh, like on the East Coast from like Massachusetts, he's called me. Um, and it was kind of funny. One of the um, surrounding counties where I'm at, Solano County, some guys found me there. And it's kind of cool. I think it's kind of neat. I'm sharing some ideas and stuff. Just having a lot of fun with the channel. Anyways, uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to end this video right now because I get a little long-winded sometimes. But some other videos, if anybody has some uh, ideas for videos, I'll put some on this one. I'll put some links on it. On down there where you can contact me check me out though try to find um and then also you got to go to this awesome website i found this website and it, it is just awesome type in www.bob the sign man dot com and guess who you think is you're gonna find there that's right, you're going to find me, Bob the Sign Man. I've got a lot of stuff on here. i got some YouTube videos, more. You can go into some traffic sign resources where you can go to the California MDC, MUTCD. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of my suppliers where I buy my stuff. Um, I have some nice videos um, on here. Uh, i got this one video that I, I'm really pretty passionate about. I love this video. Um, it's from, um, play it here, um, this guy... Oh. This guy, uh, Charlie Moorcraft, um, if you've ever kind of um, sloughed off safety, watch this movie. I'll guarantee you, you won't butter your bread without safety glasses on from now on. Anyway, so check out Bob the Sign Man. And I do have a link down here uh, where you can contact me. Here's a, here's a number to my um, shop where I work. Um, I'm in and out so much that... You might catch me. I'm on California time, so the best time to catch me, I always get to work. I start work at 7, but I'm usually there by 6 in the morning, and I'm filming some of my videos at 6 o'clock in the morning, between 6 and 7 before I start work. I'll come after work. I'll stay late. I'll even come in on Saturday and film a lot of my videos. So a lot of my videos aren't necessarily filmed on county time. They're filmed on, like, my time at the county facility, but it's kind of cool. I think my boss kind of likes it. I hope he likes it. He'll let me know after he sees this because he started subscribing to my channel. Anyway, so I'm not using a lot of county time and resources. A, a lot of it's my own time, which I, I put in, and I think it's great. I got a little map here shows where we're located and everything. Anyway, so give me a shout on my page here. Um, you can check out my Facebook links, my Pinterest, and my YouTube here. Contact me. Feel free anytime. Write me a letter. Send me a postcard. Um, you know, uh, send me a letter with $20 bills in it. I appreciate that, too. <laughs> not really just kidding. Be nice. Um, so, a lot of resources. Like I said, a lot of stuff can be coming up down the line. I want to make some videos on how it's productive for you to make your own traffic signs, the pros and cons of that. And I'm going to even do a behind the scene on how to, um, what goes in on how I edit my machines. Anyways, before I get too more involved and make this an hour long video, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.